stories for Rebel Girls. Hi Rebels, this is Goodnight Stories for Rebel Girls, the interview. I'm your host, Alea, and today we're talking to Leah Delaria. She's read us the story of orchestra conductor and Dutch resistance member Frida Belenfante, who fought to be herself and to love who she loved. If you haven't heard that amazing episode, go listen right now. We'll still be here when you get back. Okay, Leah, can you introduce yourself to our listeners? My name is Leah Delaria. I'm an actor. I am a singer. I am a stand-up comic. In fact, I was the first openly gay stand-up comic on television in America. Most people know me from playing Big Boo in Orange is the New Black on Netflix. I tour the world talking about queer rights, doing it funnily as a stand-up, and with my jazz trio, sometimes quintet. You read us the story of Frida Belenfante. She was a musician and conductor, and she also faced discrimination because of who she loved. So tell us, what does Frida's story mean to you? Well, Frida, her story means so much to me as myself being an out lesbian and a freedom fighter for my own people throughout the world and a musician. There's so much of her life that reflects what my life is that I feel a real kinship to her. And I find an immense sense of pride in coming from a place where this woman that early in the 20th century, so far back as the 1930s and 40s, felt so strongly about being herself. I mean, this was a time before what we would call feminism, really, that she just stuck to her guns and was herself and did it her way. I'm inspired by that. June is celebrated as Pride Month. Can you tell us what pride means to you? Well, pride means to me that I don't have to hide who I am. That it's okay for me to walk down the street in a suit and a tie, which is what I feel comfortable in. That previously, you would, as we just heard, you could be thrown in jail for that. You could be go to a concentration camp for that. I have this pride knowing that I am who I am and being myself every day. That's what pride means to me. Things were really different for LGBTQ plus people in Frida's time. How have you seen things change for gay people in your lifetime? When I came out, it was illegal to be gay in every state of the United States. That didn't sit right with me. And that's why I thought it was important that I go out and try to change that. So I have been fighting this fight since 1978. I actually spent the night in jail in both Illinois and Missouri for the crime at that time of open and notorious homosexuality. That's where I started. And now when you look at where we are, that gay people can get legally married now, we can adopt children now, we can buy property now, we can exist openly in this world in a way that we couldn't previously. We are just making progress, 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 progress. For me personally, I can tell you I never thought I'd see it in my lifetime. I'm so happy that I actually have. It only seems fair that people should be treated equally. So, if a girl is interested in becoming a performer or a musician, how could she get started? If you are interested in acting, comedy, music, any of it, you just do it. And you don't let anybody stand in your way. And you don't let anybody say, you know, you can't do that. I played the trombone when I was a kid. And I can tell you that they tried to talk me out of it because that was not an instrument a girl, quote unquote, a girl should play. I should probably put quotes around the girl and the should. A quote unquote girl, quote unquote, should play. You know, they tried to hand me a flute. But I realized that I liked singing more. So I stopped playing the trombone and I sang even more. So if you really want to do it, Don't let anybody talk you out of it. Get out there and do it. And one more little bit of advice, don't quit. Don't quit. 
no matter how hard it gets, because sometimes stuff gets hard. Don't quit. That's great advice. But Leah, if you could go back to when you were a kid and give yourself some advice, what would you say? Oh, you know what I would say to young Leah if I could go back? I would tell Leah, young Leah not to talk so much in class. <laughs> because the nuns, they did not really like that. And finally, what makes you a rebel girl? I like to think that I'm a rebel girl. And I like to think that what makes me a rebel girl is my refusal to back down. I've spent my entire life trying to prove the notion that you shouldn't judge a butch by its cover. I think that's probably what's made me more of a rebel girl than anything else. That's awesome. Thank you, Leah. And thank you for listening. If you like the show, leave a review on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen and share it with all of your friends. Catch you next time. Stay Rebel!